These are the men of the 2nd Marine Division. We're now embarking on a full-scale amphibious operation after many months of intensive training. Fresh Coast Gamers, we're here at Gamer Sanctuary. Uh, we're going to play some bolt action. The U.S. Marine Corps is going to attack uh, the SNLF, Special Naval Landing Force of the Japanese. Those are their Marines. Uh, Joe is going to hold until relieved. It's the Burma. I was I was told that well actually, those are all IJA. That's from the Burma Theater Selector. Uh, so for my army here, I have four Marine squads of regulars with two BARs, seven rifles, and an NCO with an SMG. I have a flamethrower. Uh, there's one squad, one squad, one squad. I have a sniper, a mortar team with a spotter, a medium mortar, a medium machine gun, my lieutenant, who's just a second lieutenant, and a medic. And I'll go over Joe's as he deploys. All right, so here's our field. Uh, we have a ton of these little plants out. I'm gonna make bases for them, but for now we're considering anything between the hexes um, to be area terrain for the trees, the jungle. So you can see I put out a bunch of guys in the jungle. Uh, this one is hold until relieved, so I can put out all my infantry, and Joe can put out two squads. So he put out his heavy howitzer in the middle, which looks awesome, uh, and then a vet IJA squad with an LMG. There's a spotter in that bunker for the heavy howitzer. There's a sniper team back there. And then there's a sniper team in that sniper nest as well. For the rest of his army, Joe has a regular squad that's in the first wave, uh, a mortar, medium mortar, which is in the first wave, and a captured steward, which is in the first wave. Then he has a vet ATR and a tank rifle. It's a tank rifle. Regular flamethrower team, a regular squad with an LMG and a regular second lieutenant. Uh, veteran second second lieutenant. So the objective is to be the one that holds this at the end of the game. If you hold that at the end of the game, then you win. Uh, and like I said, Joe has one infantry squad, one artillery piece, two sniper teams, and then I have all of my stuff except for the steward. So this is a really cool mission. It's we've played it a couple times and. It's very hard for the defender, but it's also, you know, he has a lot of stuff in first wave, um, and my steward's in reserve, so I'm not going to get him on until turn two. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so bottom of turn one. Um, I had some pretty hot dice this turn. Anytime you get a turn one mortar round to land, it's pretty crazy. Um, this squad in the middle took a mortar round to the face. They lost a couple guys. Took an MMG hit uh, and a rifle squad hit, so they've got three pins on them. Uh, the artillery attempted to range in on my MMG and missed, but next turn they need a five. I moved up across the board with my rifle squads. Uh, the mortar is right here, that's the one that ranged in. Medic and flamethrower are hiding behind this big piece of brush. Uh, and the rifle squad's over here advanced with the lieutenant in the way. He blocked a shot from the sniper team, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, because in bolt action you can't shoot within one inch of your own guys and that he could not draw a line without being in there. Joe brought on a, ri a rifle squad over here. Uh, they ran and they lost half their squad from shooting from the squad. And then he attempted to tank shot, or sorry, tank assault. This is not 40k. Tank assault with his steward and missed. Um, but he put himself in good position. I don't have any AT. I, I realized that as I as he got up there. Um, and he did put a pin on the MMG with a sniper. Sorry, on this squad with the sniper. All right. Uh, so we're at top of turn two. Joe has, you have two rifle squads to come in? One rifle squad. One rifle squad. And a lieutenant. And a lieutenant to come in, and I have a steward that is going to attempt to come in. Uh, they don't come in automatically. You have to roll an order check at minus one round. All right. Bottom of turn two is a significant turn. 
Um, I came over here, I wiped out Joe's uh, infantry when he assaulted me, and then he brought on a squad from reserve and assaulted me and killed me. Uh, he put some pins out with his steward, those guys went down. He flamethrower and medic team moved up to that, that square of jungle right there. My steward came on, missed with his shots. Uh, this squad in the middle got whittled down some more from mortar fire. Big thing over here though, whoops, the heavy howitzer in the middle direct fired onto my squad that was sitting right here and just obliterated it. I think he killed seven guys and did like six pins to them. It was pretty crazy. Um, and then he moved with some snipers over there and you have a infantry squad and an ATR to come in. Flamethrower and ATR. Flamethrower and ATR, sorry. So right now on the board, I only have two infantry squads left, and Joe has one infantry squad left. You can hold it, two. Oh yeah, they're almost dead though. <laughs> you can hold the objective with anything though, except a, a vehicle, I think. So uh, let's see what happens. Turn three is over, still uh, more bloodshed on, this, on the board, of course. Uh, Joe shot over here. He wants to get rid of that flamethrower. He got rid of one guy, and the flamethrower went down afterward. He couldn't activate. Uh, the steward came up, killed some more guys. I tried to hit him. I got one, one on his armor, but it didn't penetrate. He brought on the ATR from the side and missed my steward. Uh, the artillery failed to activate, and they have two pins on them now. And then he rallied the main squad in the middle, so they have zero pins. Not much else happened. He moved up over here, uh, moved the sniper up over here. He was real, I mean, uh, justified, very afraid of that flamethrower right there. It's, flamethrowers are nasty. Uh, all right. Turn four. We just finished turn four. Um, there was some epic battle over here. I had a lieutenant team in there, and Joe assaulted with five guys, four, four guys. Uh, bonsai charge, take off all your pins, automatically make your order check. Uh, the lieutenant and his buddy in there survived three wounds from with the medic team, or two wounds, or two wounds, sorry, with the medic team, which I, I need a six to, to save those, uh, and killed the entire squad, and then Joe brought his lieutenant in. I saved one out of the three, and my lieutenant died. I did no wounds to him. The steward rolled up, shot him with a machine gun, put a pin on, but nothing else. Uh, the medic team ran away because they don't want to die. Over here, these guys uh, took another pin. And the flamethrower squad is moving across. This flamethrower guy took another pin and failed to activate. He is just not in the fight today, unfortunately. Turn five. So, turn five, things are quickly coming to a head. Joe has run his flamethrower up here, unfortunately. <laughs> These guys came out to try to shoot him, and it was totally ineffectual. I don't know what else they did. MMG over here rallied. He has no pins on him. Uh, Joe rallied his lieutenant. I put... I don't think I did anything with my steward. You didn't and, put a pin, but I activated to take yeah, the pin off. Flamethrower. The flamethrower blew up everybody in the artillery and then ran out of fuel, so he ran away. Uh, this would be turn six. So we're going to see what we need to do. Bottom of turn six. We are finished with this turn. Uh, currently, the medic is holding the objective. It's super lame, I know, but he's setting up field camp, and that's important for the US of A. Uh, we will roll at the end of this turn to see if we continue. Joe has a lieutenant's buddy to take the objective. Uh, a sniper right there. I did move these guys out to, to kill the flamethrower, but I needed the help from this MMG right here. Uh, over here, we bounced some rounds off each other with our stewards. They didn't do anything. And uh, I, my mortar is hitting, but it's not doing anything. <laughs> All right, we're going to roll and see if it continues. Alright, so we ended the game on turn 7. Uh, that was one of the most intense games of bolt action, and I'm not just saying that because I did pull out the victory, but it was very, very close. It required a Marine squad to be superhuman, take the objective. Um, I did have some insane dice rolling throughout the game. Um, ranging in with my mortar on turn one, it's pretty crazy. 
Uh, so definitely check it out. We'll be doing Tarawa on December 6th. Uh, the Marines are going to hit the beach. The D-Day of the Pacific, one of the roughest fights ever to be seen in World War II. 35, well, really actually about 15,000 Marines landing on the beach against about 4,000 Japanese Marines. And it was a rough fight. So check it out. Thanks for watching and have a great Thanksgiving weekend. These are the Marines who took Tarawa.